Tonight on Dispatches, Christians in Britain under attack. They told me categorically, had I been in an Islamic country, i.e. Pakistan, Middle East, that they would actually uh, be the first to chop off my head. British Muslims threaten with death for converting to Christianity. These young men nearly killed your brother. They nearly yeah. kicked him to death. Yeah. Across Britain, hundreds of converts forced to worship in secret. There is a genuine fear that if the name and location of the church were, were made very public, that there could be some reprisals. I came to meet Nissa Hussain in Bradford. His conversion to Christianity sparked a campaign of hate from some local Muslims. This is the first time he's been back to his old home. And this is where the window smashing took place, all the windows here, you know. So um, that was one horning there, somebody familiar. Um, but there you go. Um, well, they recognise you. Yes, they did. They recognise me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get that a lot? Do you used to get that a lot? Yeah, yeah, every day, daily basis. Yeah. Daily basis, young men. Yeah. Everywhere you walk, yeah. the kids yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah so, the, so they smashed these windows a few times a day? Um, numerous times, numerous times. You know, we couldn't um, sit anybody uh, at the front because of the, the danger of missiles being sort of hurled through the windows. You were in that room, you were in, where was your, yeah, where were your children? Um, yeah, you can, yeah, you can just see that, yeah. So some more people are recognising my vehicle across the road. Yeah. And of course, this is where they, they you know, they, they, they trashed graffiti, uh, front step. Really? You know, there's still some remnants now, dogs here. You so still see dogs there, Christian dogs and... They called you a Jew dog. Why, what's all that about? Yeah, it's just a derogatory term, just a very offensive term. And, uh, of course, anybody outside uh, the Islamic faith uh, they just assume as second class, as somebody who's just almost inhuman. Some Muslims in Bradford considered Nissa's conversion an act of betrayal. His car was repeatedly bricked and on one occasion torched. Certain Islamic texts brand converts apostates and demand they be punished. Nissa paid a heavy price. I suppose by doing this, you know, they, they, they forewarned me and uh, the, the idea was to, no shadow of a doubt, to ethnically tells me for my home. Yeah. After six years of abuse, Nissa fled his home last year. Nissa has five young children. They were frequently sworn and spat at. Bottles and bricks were hurled into their garden. Nissa's wife, Kubra, and the children are still emotionally scarred from years of abuse and threats. We couldn't play outside at all. It was like our house was a jail because we were scared of playing out or being confronted again. Every time we did go out, abuse was hurled at us. Why so do you think they hated you so much? I think they just hated us for converting, well, my parents' conversion to Christianity. The violence wasn't just limited to attacks on their family home. My dad, when we were walking back from school, there was a lot of them around my dad and trying to... They were abusing him. What type of things were said to you or your dad? They were swearing and awful things like, why you're um, embarrassing our religion, you shouldn't be doing this, you, sh you should be killed, things like that. And what, what, about, what about you? What did you think about what was going on? Were you scared? Very scared. We thought uh, they were actually going to um, try and kill my dad. Most righteous Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just thank you uh, for this time, Lord. Uh, we ask that you'd bless this meal uh, as we give you... Nissa Hussain was raised in a devout Muslim family. Please, please, Andy, please, tuck in. Right, yes. Yeah. What yeah. is this? This is pilau rice with sort of uh, lamb. Sorry. Like many British Pakistanis, he had an arranged marriage to Kubra. In his teens, Nissa did rebel against the Islamic teachings. He felt his parents were imposing on him. Right. But it was the death of his younger brother ten years ago that led him to seek an alternative religion. I sensed an uh, enormous void in myself and I, uh, I needed to get back uh, to a place of restoration, if you like. And uh, through a, um, a friend at work uh, who was a churchgoer, a young man, a uh, committed Christian, he was very happy for me to come along to church with him and, and I, I would say that I came to the knowledge um, of Jesus Christ.
Nissa secretly went to church for several months. He hid this from his wife. When he told her he wanted to become a Christian, she was deeply offended. But her reaction was nothing compared to how some Muslims in Bradford responded to the news. Soon after my conversion, uh, I told uh, a close friend, and he said to me he, he was a Muslim, uh, that I, I should knock on his door again. Then other people were informed, and then it just went around like wildfire. They told me categorically, had I been in an Islamic country, i.e. Pakistan, Middle East, that they would actually uh, be the first to chop off my head. And how did the threats against you and your family begin to escalate? On a daily basis, uh, uh, my wife, my children were being confronted. These young uh, men had actually been circling the house, uh, knocking the door, swearing, intimidating, uh, telling them that they were going to kill us and such like. The family recorded a home video of their ordeal. The windows were uh, splattered in paint, uh, in graffiti. One can never imagine that this should happen uh, to us, or because that we have uh, converted to Christianity. Police put covert cameras in their home to try and catch the culprits. It was like, you know, some kind of a, a war scene. It was almost this imminent um, fear, you know, uh, of something that's going to happen which might be very serious. They see me as somebody who's betrayed the faith, and, it's, and yet it's never been our intention to upset anybody. I wanted to understand what could be driving the hatred towards people like the Hussein family. Some Muslims believe converting to another religion is an act of apostasy, and certain Islamic texts are very clear on how they should be treated. I just come from an Islamic bookstore and very quickly came across a couple of books on apostasy. This one from a book published in London says, the punishment by death in the case of apostasy has been unanimously agreed upon by all the four schools of Islamic jurisprudence. That's a pretty clear conclusion. The books published in London and available round, round the corner, and another one published in Pakistan, also available just in the same bookstore, says any Muslim who changes his or her religion, kill him or her. And again, anyone who rejects Islam and abandons it, cut off his head. And these are just some examples of the literature widely available that could influence some elements of the Muslim community. The calls for apostates to be executed come from the Hadith, the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. But Islamic texts are contradictory. Sheikh Mogra is a leading Islamic scholar and a senior member of the Muslim Council of Britain. He believes the texts on apostasy in the Hadith are part of Islamic history and not applicable in modern-day British society. Yeah. Now, we're here to talk specifically about the issue of apostasy. I wonder if you could just explain to us how Islam views those Muslims that leave Islam. The Quran is very clear about the choice. For instance, there's a verse that says there is no compulsion in religion. We cannot force somebody into the religion. We cannot force somebody to stay within the religion. I, I'm not an Islamic scholar, scholar, but a number of those that we have spoken to will quote a number of other quotations from the Hadith, which would say that, uh, for example, whoever changes his religion, execute him. If you pick any religious text, whether it's the Quran, the Bible, anything else, if, if you want to legitimize your cruelty and your evil, I'm sure you'll find something or other that you can twist. We live in a country where we respect people's choices. It is not right for any British Muslim to harm in any way whatsoever. To bully them, to intimidate them, to threaten them is all against Muslim law. Islam does not allow this kind of behavior. So why is it going on? Th this is the lack of understanding of Islam on the part of these Muslims. But this is not the view of all Muslims worldwide. Out of 57 Islamic states, seven impose the death sentence on Muslims who convert to another religion. The United States has increased pressure on Afghanistan to save a man facing execution for converting from Islam to Christianity. In other Islamic countries, converts have been stripped of their civil rights and had their marriages dissolved by the state. <laughs>